Hi, I'm here from the Huon Valley Council to give a quick overview of how land has been zoned as the Huon Valley moves on to the Tasmanian Planning Scheme. Zones under the Tasmanian Planning Scheme are different in both name and applicable conditions to the current interim planning scheme that we operate under. So we hope this video can assist your understanding of how the change has been applied, what it means, and what you can do about it. Firstly, zoning is not arbitrary. Huon Valley Council followed a qualitative process to apply what is called the Tasmanian Planning Commission Section 8A Guideline 1 Local Provision Schedule Zoning Code Application Document, which you can find on Council's or the Tasmanian Planning Commission's website. The process involves taking regionally mapped characteristics of land, for example, vegetation, flood risk, and agricultural potential, and applying these to individual properties. If, for example, a property has been recommended to change from rural resource to landscape conservation, it is most likely due to the property being mapped as containing more than 80% native vegetation cover or an existing environmental living zone property that is not earmarked for densification of residential use. A change in the zone applied to your property will mean that the uses allowed and their assessment provisions may have changed. This will impact how council assesses any future development applications for that property. This does not mean you cannot develop at all. It merely means that some use assessment provisions may relax while others may increase. It is important to understand that zone use tables include lists of both permitted and discretionary land uses. Discretionary means an assessment is required by a planning officer. And as is currently the case, most applications under the Tasmanian Planning Scheme are likely to be discretionary in nature. So what can you do? Familiarizing yourself with the guideline will allow you, who understands your land the best, to consider if the new zone has been applied correctly given the characteristics of your land. If you believe your property better fits with the application criteria of another zone, you can make a representation on this during the exhibition period which the Commission have agreed to extend to the 30th of April. Your representation must include the reason why you believe the zone has been incorrectly applied with justification for this. We strongly recommend seeking professional planning help to present your reasoning. We also recommend viewing the Huon Valley Council Tasmanian Planning Scheme webpage and following the steps in the updated flowchart. You will find links to the zoning maps, the guidelines, and the new and old planning schemes where you can do a head-to-head -head comparison of the development criteria in the different zones. As explained already, it is important to consider if the type of development you are interested in would be permitted or discretionary to truly understand the impact of a zone change on your property. We hope you found this video useful. Please view our other video which provides a planner's perspective of how a development assessment is assessed in practice. Thanks for your interest.